Oh, what's going on guys? This is your boy 924 Photography. And hey, listen, so man, get up this morning. I ate my breakfast, I went to the gym, and I feel better about myself. I've been doing this, inter you know, it's too dark here. Let's grab us some light. All right, so we'll grab, we'll grab the Godox. Yes, right here, yes sir. All right, this one. So this uh, Godox A60 Lite, I'm gonna be doing a review on it uh, really soon. This is the SA30 box. I got it with a grid on. <clears throat> it's not bi-color, so you, and it has this DMX box. So I'm gonna turn it on, it's 56. Let's see. Let's see what 25% uh, gets. So, like this. so it's just 5600K. Calvin, just right off the back. Let's see here. Right there. I think we need to move it over somewhere. Right there. Yeah, I'm going to some more. 34%. All right, that looks a little bit better. I still think it, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that color. Mm. Let's warm it up a little bit. Uh, 5,000, that might be right. All right, so we, uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Most of the times, I post a lot of stuff on my Instagram page, so if you haven't seen that, you should definitely go check me out on Instagram. Oh, that's the doorbell, hold on. All right, let's go see what this is. Yeah, so most times that we are posting on Instagram, I haven't been posting a whole lot of pictures, and that's only because I've been working on my video skills, trying to, but so I'm trying something new today, I'm trying like a vlog. Oh, that look good. Look at that light. That's the old natural light. I got a package in right here. Y'all can't see it because it's so bright. Let me bring that down, son. Yep, yeah, right there. So, grab that. We're gonna grab our ISO, and then we're gonna bump it back up to about 800. Yep, right there. All right, so we got our package. That natural light looked good, didn't it? So, uh, this looks like it's from China. Oh, I wonder what it is. All right, put this back down there for you. I hope y'all liking this new vlog style. I'm gonna try something new, something like a Peter McKinnon style, I guess you might say. Mm. All right. Oh, shoot. Little trucks. Ha, finally got here. So I've been waiting on this thing for about a week or two. They hit me up on Twitter, which I hardly ever check my Twitter account. So then I hit them up on there and I told them to hit me up on Instagram and they did. Well, this is their new 24 1.8 FE. It's a full frame. I'm going to tell you today, we're gonna to go open this box. It ain't even been open. Uh, I'm gonna tell you if this is comparable to the Sony 24 1.8. Now, they also have, a Sigma has one, and then uh, who else has one? I think a Rokinon has a 24. Well, this one, I believe, when I looked on Instagram, it was like, two, 429 something dollars. So let's hope. Oh, real quick. Let's put this up here like that. Let's hope that this lens is uh, good. Uh, I've seen a few YouTube videos and it looks like that 
You may not have to spend twelve hundred dollars on a lens. So let's open this bad boy up. Hey man, I think I'm gonna change lights. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna change uh to a warmer a warmer type light. Give me one second. All right, we change lights. Hold on, I got a phone call. Hello. Man, why are you calling me on this uh, phone? Low. Yeah. Hi right, guys, this is one dog on the phone right here. It sounds better, way better. Okay, cool. All right, that's what I need. So that's all you called me for is to use me? Yep, I used you like a hooker. Did y'all hear that? Hey, y'all, look at this. I'm telling y'all, Lonnie called me. How does the audio sound? Oh, is it better? I use you like a hooker. <laughs> am, I, am I sexy? Goodbye. Hey, so we're going to get back into this review right quick. Hi. Right. So, uh, I changed lights. I changed to my soon wheel. I'm gonna bump it up some though, cause it's at 16%. Let's go here. We got 4,500 Kelvin. Yeah, that light looks way better, don't it? Okay, but since I'm shooting in slot three, hey man, if you don't, if y'all like this video, definitely hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try this new vlogging type review type thing. I don't know how it's gonna go. Maybe some people may think it's rambling. Uh, some people may be like, hey man, just get straight to the point. Um, I got a few uh, questions on my YouTube and they was like, we need to hear more dialogue instead of you doing a whole lot of B-roll. So I'm gonna try this, my hand in it. So opening up the box, I give you a little pouch right here. Okay, you get a warranty card. You get uh, some information about the lens. Your little rat poison. <laughs> and then, that's it. And you get the lens itself. It's wrapped up pretty nicely. Let's see, no scratches, hopefully. Oh, it's very light. I've held the, the 24 of Sony. Oh man, I got, this is a D-click ring. So it's pretty smooth. It's, it's, it's definitely pretty smooth. They got a DF RBW right here. I don't know what that means. You've got a lens cap, this. So if you're wondering, this is a 55 uh, thread, so you may have to get a step up ring to put your ND filters on here. That's the only thing that I wish that it would have changed. And I know by doing that, it, the price would probably change as well. But having it as a 67, which is almost like a standard, uh, makes it easy where you only have to buy one filter to go on to you know this lens. So, I mean, the, the focus ring feels really smooth. You got all this, all you got a USB type C right here for updates. That's pretty cool that they put it right there. So you can update this lens. Uh, it's an E-mount right here. And so we're going to put it uh, on a camera. Actually, you know what? Dang, do I got to step up for ring 455 so it'll look the same? Well, you know what? Let's, let's change it to this lens right here, right now. Okay, so now we on the Viltrox. I hope I said it right. Viltrox. Viltrox. I think I, I think I'm saying it right. So this is the 24 1.4. And I I know 1.4, 1.8. And I got it at 1.8. I'm shooting at 30 frames per second. So this is uh how it looks as far as what we just had on here. So right before that, you were looking at the baddest 25 F2. And I had my Pro Mist filter on it. So that's what it was looking like. And now this is the Viltrox uh, 24 1.8 and it's wide open. So I don't know if the corners right here are soft, but so far, I mean, I think it looks good. Let me tap the screen on here and see how the eye autofocus is. Let me turn it on. 
All right, and let's see how the eye to focus straight. Okay. So I'm going from frame to frame. It looks pretty good. So far, so good. But we are going to take this lens out for a shoot to see how it will perform, you know, using some Godox lights and uh, this 24 wide angle because I've shot with the 24 before. So I may shoot some car stuff, but I'm going to try to see if I can get a model. And then we're going to do some video stuff because this will be my new video lens and I'll probably you know, uh, give this one up, not give it up, but like retire, I ain't gonna retire because I'm gonna tell you something, this Zeiss, it ain't nothing like it, but this might be pretty good. We're gonna see how the quality, how does the quality look? Comment below and let me know. Uh, I need to give me a pro mist filter for it, or what I need to do is I need to give me a step of ring so I can put this on here so it can look just a little bit different and uh, so I can have all my stuff. So I think I'm gonna probably do a step up ring I might have one, I'm about to check it out. All right, so you may have already seen this in a previous video. If you look up in the top right corner, I'll post it there where we give photography tips and tricks uh, on a shoot that I was on. Now, this Viltrox 24 millimeter 1.8 Sony E-mount lens has two spherical elements. It has an HD nano multi-coding optics and it has nine blade diaphragm so it has three high refractive index elements and is super quiet with a quiet stm with a lead screw step motor it has a 55 millimeter front filter thread size and it has a usb type c upgrade port now the aperture range from 1.8 to f16 and this is an e-mount lens this lens does support eye autofocus and i must contest that it does work fairly well with the sony a7 IV. as you've seen previously in this video how good it focuses now i've had this lens for over a month now and i must say the characteristics from this lens is absolutely beautiful especially the bokeh right here we have cecily and we were shooting her with the cheetah stand qpb 36 and I was using the Viltrox 24. This is the first time I've brought it out on a portrait shoot. In just a second, I'm going to show you some car shots that I did on a foggy night. We were using this and at first when I'm looking on the back of the screen of the A7 IV, I didn't know how I felt about it. But when I got it back in the post, I was like, oh my goodness. Now I'm going to show you the final image if you haven't seen that video already. And note that I did replace the sky, but the lens is tack sharp. It grabs on the autofocus perfectly and I didn't have any issues. I do highly recommend this lens. And if you want to check it out, I have a BNH link in the description below that you can go check that out. Now, I, uh, next I'm going to show you some car shots that I did and then possibly some video that I took uh, later on with this lens. <laughs> Subscribe to 924 Photography.